the construction of the Australia Pacific LNG pipeline from the Surat Basin in Queensland to the LNG plant on Curtis Island offshore from Gladstone is one of the largest diameter, longest and most successful pipeline construction projects ever undertaken in Australia. The project reached the first major milestone in late 2009 when Australia Pacific LNG, a joint venture between Origin, ConocoPhillips and Sinopec, awarded the Early Works contract for the engineering, procurement and construction of 520 kilometres of predominantly 42-inch diameter high-pressure steel pipelines along with associated facilities to MCJV, a joint venture between McConnell Dow Constructors and CCC, Consolidated Contracting Company Australia. The award of this contract occurred after a highly competitive tendering process. The MCJV brought a project team with extensive successful large diameter pipeline project experience. The capacity of MCJV to mobilise expert staff and specialist plant was a significant benefit to the project. In addition to each bringing major Australian and international pipeline experience and expertise, McConnell Dow and CCC have a proven and successful track record of delivering major infrastructure projects through the MCJV partnership. This includes involvement in all four of the major LNG projects being constructed in Eastern Australia and Papua New Guinea at the time. A collaborative approach to solving challenges was proposed and adopted. Working as part of an integrated team, MCJV and Australia Pacific LNG personnel worked together to obtain approvals and permits, finalise planning, develop the front end engineering and design, as well as an open book estimate for costs. In August 2011, the EPC contract was officially awarded to MCJV and within 12 months, the large diameter pipeline spread was mobilised and construction was well underway. Integrated logistics were crucial to the success of the project. Over approximately 12 months, 270,000 tonnes of pipe were unloaded from ships at Gladstone Port and transported by rail all the way to the main pipe laydown yard near Bilawila, significantly reducing the number of pipe truck movements on the roads in the busy Gladstone area. Dealing with large diameter pipe, a 40 metre right of way was prepared to allow subsequent pipeline construction activities to proceed at an average of 1.5 kilometres per day. As 18 metre long pipes had been selected to reduce on-site welding, they required special handling throughout every stage of construction. An automatic welding firing line was deployed with the crew of 80 people and dozens of pieces of equipment achieving up to 150 42 inch diameter welds per day. Completed welds were then subject to automatic ultrasonic testing. This was followed by the field joint coating crew, grit blasting and coating the welds with a multi-component liquid epoxy coating. After trenching to a minimum depth of 2.25 metres, lowering in crews carefully lowered the 1 to 1.2 kilometre long strings of pipe into the trench. The trench was then padded with screened trench spoil and backfill. Completed sections were then hydrostatically tested in lengths of up to 30 kilometres, with water being transferred from section to section. The pipeline was then reinstated to a very high standard and handed back to the landowners. The construction of the pipeline facilities included the end-of-line launcher and receiver stations, a major hub linking the eastern and western gas fields to the main pipeline, a midline scraper facility and four mainline valve stations. Several key initiatives developed on the Australia Pacific LNG pipeline project included the Green Hat Development Program for new or inexperienced personnel, Operate, a series of rules specifically focused on operator behaviour, and Game On. Game On was a site-wide initiative designed to engage every employee on the project and actively manage the four pillars of project performance on a daily basis. This initiative proved extremely successful, winning an award at the 2013 International Pipeline and Offshore Contractors Association, or REPLOCA, 
convention in Washington. As a result of MCJV's integrated approach and the success of the key initiatives, the Australia Pacific LNG main pipeline team exceeded targets for critical project performance KPIs in the areas of safety, environment and quality. With pipeline installation completed in April 2014, the Australia Pacific LNG project met the tight delivery schedule agreed with the client in late 2009. The timely and safe completion of this world-scale project, while meeting all other key criteria, is a testament to the strength of the McConnell Dow CCC joint venture, the MCJV, working as a partner with the client Australia Pacific LNG on one of Australia's largest and most successful pipeline projects.